To run a full field ERG with the color dome, have your patient sitting with their face in the dome and their chin on the chin rest. You'll be able to see their eyes in the camera viewer window. Since this test starts with dark adaptation, we turn the lights in the room off and cover the computer with a red filter before beginning the test. To begin the protocol and the dark adaptation, click on Run. A window pops up to check for pupil information. You do not need to put pupil size at this time. Next, a timer will appear. There's a 20 minute dark adaptation. Sit through this dark adaptation time with your patient. Or, if you have chosen to dark adapt your patient in a different room, go ahead and click Finish. To end the timer. Once we're ready to begin the test, we instruct our patient to open their eyes and look into the small red light in the center of the dome. Let's check our impedances before starting. If they look good, we can close. We preview. Let's get a fine signal. Stop the preview and press run to begin the test. The dome will chime three times fast and one time slow to indicate that the flash is on setting. After three flashes, the results will average together and you can click step to move on to the next part of the test. When a new graph window appears, click run again. Remind the patient to hold their head still and look straight ahead, doing their best not to blink when they see the light. This is the second out of three dark adapted steps of this full field ERG protocol. Once your results are compiled, click step. and run to continue. This will be the brightest out of all the three dark adap adapted flashes. To recap, step one is a point one candela flash, step two is a three candela flash, and step three is a ten candela flash of light. Click step again to come to the light adapted portion of the test. Notice that when you click on run, you get another timer. This one will wait 10 minutes to light adapt. At this point, the light inside the dome will be on and the patient is to look into the light for the full length of 10 minutes. For now, I'll go ahead and click finish. And run the test.
This will be a three candela flash of light. Followed by the fifth step of the protocol, which is a flicker. Before this step begins, warn your patient that they will see multiple flick flashes of light in fast succession. Up at the top, we can tell that this is the fifth step out of five total, and so our protocol is complete. At this point, go ahead and click Exit, and save the test. To open the test again, click Old Tests. load and from here you can view and print the results. To transition from using the color dome to the color burst, unplug the color dome at the stimulator port and plug in the color burst with the arrows facing the stimulator sign. Do this when the software is turned off. When running a full field ERG with the color burst, we use the scotopic and photopic ERG protocols. The photopic is the light adapted and the scotopic is the dark adapted. The steps of these are exactly the same as the full field ERG for the color dome, except for they are monocular. So your patient will be testing one eye at a time, starting with the right eye, and then switching to the left eye. 